Capricorn, hi. So this is going to be a reading for July 31st through August 6th. And I'll take a look at your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Nah, that's too many. Too many. What is going on? There we go. <laughs> of course, out of those too many that I previously put back, this one was definitely in there. So they wanted to come out. What can I say? The overall energy for the reading, the moon. Um, tum -tum 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 -tum. Um, there's quite the pickle going on here, energetically speaking, for you. Because I feel like... How do I describe this? Like, things are playing off in certain ways. And it's kind of like, okay, this is what I can see. This is what I can deal with. But there's certain things that are playing off underneath it all that I feel like you can't see. Um, where some things may be happening, but they're definitely happening for a reason. And you might be looking at those things from a perspective of why the hell, like what the hell is going on here? You know, not understanding. Um, so there's something up here, something subtle, something that's not of the surface for sure. In the recent past, the Magician, the Queen of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, I feel like you tried to focus as much as you could on yourself, on this possible commitment you had with somebody. So there's definitely a manifestation of some sort that's coming into play in terms of, you know, I want somebody, I want for things to work out. I just want this. Universe, please respond to this. And I don't know in what way or if the universe responded, but that was your manifestation. That was your focus at that time. Now... In the current situation, the Eight of Swords, the Eight of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, you're hanging on to something that just doesn't serve you anymore. Uh, I don't know what it is, but it's keeping you very stressed out and very, like, always thinking and not necessarily in the greatest way. So it's one of those things where you're not involved in it emotionally anymore. You're not, it doesn't do anything for you anymore, but you're still there. You're still hanging on to it. And because it's still there and you don't understand, you know, I feel like the way you're looking at this, you're, you're kind of looking at it from a perspective of, yeah, I don't understand why it's not working out. Not from the perspective of, this is not good for me. This is not serving me in any kind of way, you know? So that's where the pickle is for you, you know? Definitely a sense of stubbornness to let this one go, whatever this is. And I see no emotional attachment to it anymore. And then it just creates stress more than anything. Um, for the immediate future, the Eight of Wands, the Empress, the Tower, some good news might be coming into play. I don't know if this is news necessarily, but it's definitely an energy coming towards you uh, that feels like it's making you feel good. It's making you like step back into your power, definitely. So whatever it is that's coming through as an energy towards you is like, ooh, wow, you know. So with the Tower there, yeah, the Tower could go, you know, several ways there for sure. Uh, but to me, based on these prior energies, it kind of is one of those things where it's like, well, I did not see that coming, you know, in a good way. So not necessarily in not a good way. Blue. Blue. Let's not break, but you're breaking. How does he find these things? Anyways, uh, let's clarify. Just when I think he's found everything that he can grab onto, he finds another thing. That's just a cover for something in the yard and he's ripping through the um, little latch security thingies. Anyways, let's do the moon. For the moon, you get the Nine of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, the Page of Swords. Yeah, there's something there's something in regards to something that you consider maybe to be stable or you want it to be stable. Something that's close to home, something that you are dealing with on a personal level there. So something is up there that you're not seeing clearly, that you're not interpreting in a clear way for you, you know? 
uh, not a lot of energy is given to this at this time. There's a lot of, you know, kind of backing away from it, actually, but it's it's still something foggy is flying around this situation. Let me do the Magician in the recent past. The Moon, the Eight of Cups, the Six of Wands. So this is what this is then. This is what you manifested, you know? Your manifestation looks something like Whoa, squirrel's gone mad. At least they um, attracted Blue's attention. Um, so your manifestation looks something like, I want a commitment, healthy commitment, where I can do my own thing, you know, I can have my independence through it, and it's great, and I'm sharing my energy with whoever this is. There's nothing codependent about it. It's a beautiful manifestation, very healthy one at that. And then this energy of emotional detachment from it comes through your own manifestation of this so the manifestation the picture looking frame thing of the manifestation looks like what i just said because you're bringing in a sense of but i'm not ready for it and i'm not open to it it's actually coming through in the reality of as something like that where you're dealing with something possibly a commitment where you're not open to it but you're not seeing that you're bringing this energy with you as you're manifesting because the moon is there. So as you're manifesting this perfect looking picture of a commitment, you're throwing in your own fear or your own unavailability or things like that. And the universe gets you that commitment, but it's under your energy that you're bringing in, the unavailability for it. So, okay, so it all comes down to this situation right here that you are currently dealing with. Let me do the Queen of Pentacles in the recent past. The Six of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, the Seven of Swords. There's been quite a few times there where even during through, during through, during this energy of self-love, uh, you built on yourself a couple of times. So you definitely got there to that place of, oh my God, I got it. You know, there's this massive love I'm feeling for myself and it's great and I'm doing it. And, and then there's the mind that comes into play and tells you, well, let's think about it. And when you do that, you actually disconnect more and more from that energy of self-love. So there's definitely, you know, that balancing act with it and times in which you actually kind of gave that up even though you were in the emotion and the feeling you know of self-love so let's do the four of ones you get the four of pentacles the two of pentacles the king of pentacles you weren't available you were asking from the universe so it's like you know i have a plan for myself um and i'm working with the universe on this plan i'm, I'm putting everything together like this is from here until I don't know, two to five years from now i'm gonna focus on myself because i have to you know create something here and i'm working with the universe on it and this is my plan to focus on myself and on my stability and putting something up and you know building something there and then meanwhile i wake up one day during this time frame that i pre-established right i wake up one day and i say universe uh you know what a commitment would be nice could you send somebody over forgetting that hey i'm not available for a commitment you know i made another commitment that i gotta stick to because i want to stick to you know so that's where the unavailability comes from you're on this path of self building on yourself and meanwhile you wake up one day and you're like oh hmm, that would be nice you know if i got a bonus you know that that cherry on top kind of a thing i'm sure you'll get that eventually but you need to step out of the frame where you already have a commitment to yourself, you know? So maybe that's why this energy of whatever commitment this is comes through as what the fuck at this time. For the... You gotta cut it out. I'm gonna shorten that leash of yours in a minute. I just gotta finish up with Cappy. For the Eight of Swords, you get the Sun, the Death card, the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, it's it's doomed. This situation was doomed from the get-go. And energetically speaking, you knew that. Because again, you already had a commitment to yourself. You can't ask for another commitment to another energy 
when you haven't accomplished the one to self yet, you know? Um, so it's, it's kind of looking like you're carrying these energies of this is never going to work out as you enter this commitment, whatever this is. And then you end up overthinking things because you're like, why isn't it not working out? I don't understand. What's wrong with them? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with this situation? What is happening? I just want happiness here. Why isn't it? I, and I asked it from the universe, so it came, but like, why isn't it not? Remember the previous commitment to self. Eight of cups. You get the four of wands, the five of cups, the star. Yep. It's just not working out. You keep on showing me the same thing disconnection from it commitment that commitment whatever it is it's been through already through who knows what and it's just like as much as you want it to work out it's it's looking like something's missing something's not you know on the workout train here um let's do the four of pentacles the two of cups, the lovers, the three of cups. This is beautiful energy that you want. So there's nothing wrong with your request. There's nothing wrong with you wanting this. It's just a matter of understanding how the energies flow around this. Before you asked for this from the universe, you made a commitment to self and to the universe of working on yourself. Asking for another commitment to another energy. Very hard. For it to work out unless you're you're in that place of you know fully aligned with yourself they're in that place of fully aligned with themselves and then you kind of ride along together yeah perfect but it's very hard for for that to actually happen in this way first you need to finish up the, the first commitment you made to yourself once you get there hell yeah you're ready for this you know so you're asking for beautiful energies here and that's why it's hard to let go and that's why the, the mind, because that's where you're coming from with this one, the mind can't put it together. Why isn't it not working out? My intentions are the best. My energies that I'm, you know, asking from the universe for this one are the best. Why? Why the hell is it not? <clears throat> Let's do the Eight of Wands in the immediate future. The Ace of Cups, the Fool, the Ace of Wands. Let me do the Empress. The Ace of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, the Tower. Something is entering. There, there's a conflict of interest here. You know, the two commitments that you want, that one you made and one you're asking for, are conflicting. You know, and they still keep on conflicting. Um, at times, the second commitment comes in with great energy of hope of, oh my God, this can actually work out. Um, and then something happens that just kind of breaks it down. It's like, nope, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna go anywhere, you know? So it's very frustrating and I feel like, I feel like at this time it's more frustrating than anything, you know? Cause it's your intention of wanting to make this work and the universe's signals of, hey, what about your commitment? Your, you know, primary commitment, your initial commitment to self and to me, you know? And you may be thinking about this one as, you know, but I'm not putting that on the back burner. I'm still working on myself. I need you right here, right here. I'm still working on myself. So I'm not taking away from that to give to this one. I, I, I just want both. What if in the first commitment, you actually prepare yourself to be fully ready and capable to carry on the second commitment? And maybe that's why it's not working. Maybe that's why there's a conflict of interest there between the two commitments. You know? What if that's the case? What if you're not ready for the second commitment to play out at the you know, so the, the, at the same time with the first one? That's why there's probably an order to them, the first and the second, you know? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, because I see, I see this conflict here big time. Uh, between the two commitments that leaves you conflicted at the end of the day, you know, so for the tower you get the strength card the knight of pentacles the two of wands I don't see you giving up necessarily not yet I see you know as you realize that oh, okay. This is not working out 
uh, you kind of take a step back from it and then I see you trying again. Okay, we're recovered now, we're fresh, let's try again. Maybe this time it's, you know, 10th time's a charm or something. Um, so I still see you, even though the universe keeps on blasting you with signs like, nope, not this time, nope, not this time, nope, finish up your first commitment, nope, nope, nope. You're like, nah, I'll make it work, you'll see universe. Alright, let's see what the universe has for you. As a final advice, there's too many. What's up? What's going on? Do you want me to take it to the neighbors? Do you want me to take it to Stella? So that she can tire you out? So that you can sleep all day? Yeah, you do? What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't chew on the table. Don't chew on the table. The Four of Cups, the Hermit, the Lovers. Yeah, you're pretty upset at this point. You're pretty, you know, because again, that conflict of interest between the two commitments, the way I look at it, energetically speaking, becomes your own conflict with this. Like, I've got great intentions. I just want for this to work out. I can see the potential that it can work out, but I'm pretty bummed out because it's not working out. Think of it, try to expand on your perception over things. You know, try to expand a little bit. Don't get stuck in here, in that conflict, because it's not going to help out. Um, and just try to open up your per perspective over this. And see how it works out from an energetic standpoint, rather than your intentions and your needs and your wanting one commitment to work and not taking from the other end. It, it just complicates things, you know? The more you look at it from the energetic perspective, it might simplify things for you. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye. Get off. Get off. Good boy.